The psalmist declared, when the Lord, not man, not good heart, when the Lord doth turn around the captivity of his people, they will be like them that doth drink. Can I prophesy to you? By the time you're done with these five days, you will look at yourself, look at your money, look at your honey, look at your business, look at your health, your family life, your career, your ministry. You will tell yourself, I look like I'm dreaming, but that dream is a reality. Everything is about to change. Why? It's a Kairos moment, a window in time, in destiny. God is set to do something phenomenal in your life. Have you ever struggled with mental health, depression, fear, marital pitfalls, physical health challenges, career challenges, indecision, other issues of life, or would you just like to strengthen your spirituality? Then join men and women across the globe, breaking the limits and soaring high on the global prophetic prayer altar with Apostle Goodhart's OB equipment. Even in these challenging times, every weekday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one and 12 noon to 1 p.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one. Available on internet radio at www.radio.rogic.org and on YouTube at GPPA TV, on Periscope at Goodhart's O Equipment, on Instagram at Apostle Goodhart, and on Facebook at Apostle Goodhart. The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar, the surest way to get timely resources to stabilize your life in every area. Your unmerited mercy or favor made available to us. We give you praise. We Hallelujah, hallelujah. You are welcome to the global prophetic prayer altar this morning. Hallelujah. Jesus is worthy to be glorified. Our Father is worthy of all our praise. Come and just worship the name of Jesus wherever you are. Father, we give you glory. We give you glory. Oh.
Jetombre de descatolan de gede bombre de capan de scatoria da gadabai. Le combre de de gede bosca titin de scatolon de brada da dan de scotoria da scaturan de scadabala da gadabacataya. My Jehovah, you are worthy to be praised. Zetoria da basca da bagada bogote. Rede de 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 scataladan de gede bombre de 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 scatoria da gadan de gede bosca toria da gada bagata lord we bless your holy name jetoria da 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 ndeska da balakata jede de 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 bombre de de gede bosca toria da baranda gada le kataban de gede gede lord your word says in psalm 63 verse 1 early will i seek the o god jete bambre de gada bala da gada ya asa toria da gada even in this blessed morning my soul fasted for thee jadadan de gede my flesh longs for thee O god jadadada de bombre de gede bogadaya in the dry and thirsty land where there is no water rede de gede to see thy power and thy glory askatoria da gada and so we thank you o lord because we have seen your power and your glory jetoria da baska da bagada le corondo rege de bondes kada ba ya o psalm 63 verse 3 we thank you because your loving kindness is better than life my lips shall praise you le kataban de gede my redeemer your loving kindness is better than life my lips shall exalt thee le Kadaban de gede gede, re de 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 de. Le kumre de de doska turia da bala da bola de gede bolo de gede bara da gada baga da baga da baga ta. Je bembre de 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 deska tondo godo ze turia da gada bembre de gedi. Re de 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 bembre de de gede. Re de de jatun de gede bra do 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 jatun de gedi. Ira da 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 bra Rado do 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 uska de bala da gada boro de gede bagata jaba bambre de ska torian da gada bre de do 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 ska da bagata verse four odos will I bless thee while I live I will lift up my hands in your name le koria da 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 ja toria da 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 re de 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 Aska tande gede le karia da 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 ndeska da balada ya in I in Psalm sixty three verse six the scripture says when I remember you upon my bed and meditate on you in the night watches because you have been my help therefore in the shadow of your wings will I rejoice le karia da baska da baya Lord upon our beds we meditate upon your mighty wondrous works zepande gede and we rejoice. Lekata in your love, Jaturia da 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 skada bala da gadon da skateria da gada. Jebombre de de skateria da 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 bra do 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 jatan de gedi. Ela kudon do shati bra do 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 skada bala katika ya. Lekata ria da 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 de skateria da gada bombre de gedi. Jadon do do skoto bombre de gede gede gede. Re de 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 borondos kada balada kada bagata eskatorian da baska telandas kada bagata re de 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 re de 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 bro do do eskatorian da gada re de 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 eskatorian da rege de jetorian da gada jatan de gedia re de 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 jetoria da dan de gedia re de 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 bro do do jetoria da 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 
because you have been my help you have been our help we thank you thank you for another day another opportunity a living dog is better than a dead lion for this is the day that the lord has made i shall rejoice and i will be glad in it i will be glad in the manifold possibilities uh, that are available in today your mercies that are new every morning i am glad in the allocation of your mercy that we receive today uh, the allocation of your grace that we receive today Oh, Father, we thank you and we give you all the glory for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. On behalf of my father, Pastor Bimbo Pastor Bimbo Kweme, we want to specially welcome you again to the Global Prophetic Prayer Altar. Glory be to God in the highest. This is the altar where we lift up the name of Jesus, for it is all about Jesus. Knowing that as we lift up his name, he draws all men to himself. So as we lift up his name, he draws all possibilities to himself. He draws all answers to prayers to himself. Every need, every desire, every expectation, every petition, he draws it all onto himself as we focus and keep our gaze on Jesus. Jesus. I said that to let you know that you have not come to seek him in vain. He is a rewarder of they that diligently seek him. You cannot go the same way you came. So just want to encourage you that you have come to the house of the Lord. Hallelujah. This is the global prophetic prayer altar. We are live across our interterrestrial radio stations for those within the environs of Nigeria and also for those that are not in the environs of Nigeria because this is a global family, people that are praying from across the nations who are live on our online radio station at www.radio.rogic.org. And I just want to encourage someone today to just take that link and then just copy and paste and share. Copy and paste maybe on your WhatsApp status, live on your Facebook IG so that others may see and be blessed. We're also live by the message of God on our YouTube at GPPA TV. Also on Facebook and Instagram at Apostle Goodheart. So whatever link platform you're using, just be a love ambassador and share so that others may partake in what the Lord is doing and what the Lord is yet to do and be blessed in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Welcome again to the Global Prophetic Prayer Altar and by the mercies of God, you will be impacted for good in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Just want to start with a voice, a word of encouragement for someone on this altar praying this morning. The Lord has a message for you. Isaiah chapter 43, um, verse 1 to 2. Isaiah 43, verse 1 to 2. And I read before we pray. The Bible says, But now says the Lord that created you, O Jacob, he that from thee, O Israel, fear not. Hallelujah. The word here, fear not. 
for I have redeemed thee, and I have called thee by name because you are mine. That is a powerful statement. God is not just saying, I am God, I am king, I am ruler. Sometimes we ought to read the Bible slowly. He says, thou art mine. That is him letting you know that he loves you passionately. You are his and he is yours all my days. Uh, verse 2, because you are his, this is what the Bible says in verse 2. When you pass through the waters, God says, I will be with thee. And through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Before we get into any prayer proper, I want you to just thank him for this prophetic word that has come to you through the global prophetic prayer altar. Thank him because he has said to you that he is that you are his. Thank him because he has said to you that he has redeemed you. Thank him because he has told you to fear not. Thank him because he has told you that he will be with you despite the many challenges and trials that you may face. Can someone just begin to sincerely thank him? Lekatombre de de den de skada balada gada bre de de den de skadon de gete re de 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 skotorian da gada bre do do jeterian da gada re de de den de skadombre de de skatoria da gada baya Lord we say thank you. We say thank you for you have called us by name. Le Korea Dada, we are known of you. Jateria, we are loved by you. Zakoria da Baradoska da Balada Kate. Le Korea Dada da Dandesha Dande Gede. Rede de 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 Shatoria Dada Gada Baradoska da Bagada. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Again, Isaiah 43 verse 2, we're going to begin to pray. The Bible says, when you pass through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers, they shall not overflow thee. What are the waters that the Lord is telling us that when we pass through? Psalm 124 from verse 2 and i read if he had not been the but if he had not been the lord who was on our side when men rose up against us then they had swallowed us up quick and their wrath was kindled against us then the waters had overwhelmed us and the stream had gone over our soul. The boisterous rivers had gone over our soul then the proud waters had gone over our soul. So these waters are things that are caused by men, the mischief of men, the wickedness of men, the witchcraft of men, the evil of men. These are the proud waters that are designed to overwhelm an individual, suffocate, and even drown an individual. But the word of God said to us in Isaiah 43 that when we pass through these waters and the river, it will not overwhelm us. Can we pray? and decree and declare and say our father and our god according to your word we decree uh, that as we pass through the waters it will not overwhelm us it will not overflow us in the mighty name of the lord jesus that we will walk through uh, we will walk through successfully we will walk through safe in the name of the lord jesus <laughs> Korea da da dan de shka de dan de gede re de 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 bro do don de shka terian da gada e sha terian da barando shka da balada kate re de 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 sha terian da gada e la ko terian da gada je terian da gada re de 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 sha da dan de gede bro do 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 sha terian da gada re de 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 Jatoria da Gada, Le Cateria da Gada, Lord, as I pass through Jaca da Bada Bara da Bara da Gada, Ela Cotoria da Basque Balabumbre de Cadabua, Rede de 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 de
Ishatiria da busca te pande getia. Rededede brodo do 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 ishekateria da gada. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. We're still praying about the grace to pass through the waters and the rivers. Revelation chapter 12 from verse 15 to 16. Revelation chapter 12 from verse 15 to 16. And the Bible says in Revelation 12, 15, And the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman. Look at that. That he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Do not ever assume that that little tribulation and trouble was just designed to shake you. If you had known the true plan of the enemy, you just thought it was a scratch, mental scratch, financial scratch, and physical scratch. What you did not know was that the enemy in their own program was designed to totally take a person away, take you out of the picture but for the mercies of God. The Bible says the serpent cast out of his mouth a flood after the woman that he may cause her to be carried away of the flood. But verse 16, salvation and deliverance has come. And the Bible says, and the earth helped the woman and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up of the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. These are spiritual um, adumbrations and analogies for physical realities. When the Bible says that the earth helped the woman and swallowed it, the flood, the Bible can, is trying to tell us that God will send you help from the earth. Inside the earth is your boss. Inside the earth are destiny helpers. Inside the earth are institutions. Inside, inside the earth are factors that can change your life in a second. I want you to pray and say, oh God. God, send help from the earth. Let the earth swallow up every flood that I have embarked upon. Every flood that has been thrown my way, let the earth swallow it up. In the name of the Lord Jesus, a financial flood, let the earth swallow it up now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Lord, as you did for this woman, I decree and declare by favor, let the earth open up its mouth and swallow every flood uh, that has come my way uh, in the name of the lord jesus for when i pass through the waters it would not overflow me Lord, let the help come from the earth. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Jatoria da Bosca Titan de Gedia, Rede de 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 name of the Lord Jesus. Let every flood be swallowed up. Zatarian da gada jada dendis kadabai ila kuturia da da dendis kadabai re de 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 jatarian da gada re de 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 jatarian da dendis kadaban de kedia ila korondo jatarian da gada re de 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 jatarian Oh, somebody declared that every flood is drying up. 
every trouble is drying up every storm is drying up in the name of the lord jesus everything that was designed to drown me is drying up now brother is being swallowed up the proud waters are being swallowed up the boisterous streams are being swallowed up in jesus mighty name we have prayed amen and amen going back to our anchor scripture isaiah 43 verse 2 when you pass through the waters i will be with thee and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee but look at the second part it now says, when you walk through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. Isaiah 43 verse 2. When you walk through the fire, you shall not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon upon thee we are going to be praying up against the fire the bible has given us a promise that even though we walk through the fire we will not be burnt and the flame will not kindle upon us what does fire represent again in the spirit realm we go back to the bible for biblical interpretation in the book of first samuel chapter 30 um, let us start with verse 1. Look at what the Bible says. 1 Samuel 30, verse 1. And it came to pass that when David and his men were come to Ziklag, hallelujah, on the third day, yeah, that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag, and smitten Ziklag, and burnt it with fire and burnt it with fire and verse 2 see what the bible says this is the this is the representation of what fire is and had taken the women captives that were there they slew not any either great or small but carried them away and went on their way hmm. So David, verse 3, so David and his men came to the city and behold, it was burned with fire and their wives and their sons and their daughters were taken captive. You see, the thing about fire is that fire has a way of affecting everything connected to you. Have you experienced an attack that you wonder what is going on with my children, what is going on with my spouse, what is going on with my finances? When you see these things that affect, you see, water can just at, affect you as a person. But when it is fire, everything that is connected to you can be affected momentarily. That is the power of fire. But then the Bible says look at what the bible says as read further then david and the people that were with him lifted up their voice and wept until they had no more power verse 6 now because of time and david was greatly distressed for the people speak of stoning him look at that the same people you are leading all of a sudden begin to criticize and condemn you because the soul of all the people was grieved every man for his sons and for his daughters but the prayer point first is this but david encouraged himself in the lord his God, not just the Lord, in the Lord his God. I know my God. This is my God. I know him and he knows me. I want somebody to lift up their voice now this morning because I think that the prophetic word that came from Isaiah 43 is a word of encouragement for somebody. I want you to pray and say, Lord, I know I am going through fire. I can see the effect of fire, but I encourage myself in you. I encourage myself in you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Can somebody by prayer begin to encourage themselves in the Lord? How do you encourage yourself in the Lord? You remember his, his mighty things that he has done in your life. How do you encourage yourself in the Lord? You take the word of God and his promises. You look not towards the things that are seen, which are temporal, but the things that are unseen. Can someone begin to encourage themselves now? Le kateria da banda da 
Yes, the spirit of encouragement and grace is flowing from this altar. Lord, I went out on an assignment and I came back uh, and it seems as if the wives and children were taken. Lord, I went to do ministry. Why are my children affected? Uh, Lord, I went to do your instruction. Why is my finances affected? Lord, I obeyed you. Why is my health affected? And David encouraged himself uh, in the Lord. When I walk through the fire, I shall not be burned. I know that as of now, it looks like things have been taken away from me. I look not towards the things that are seen. No. Because the scriptures cannot be broken. The scriptures declares I will not be burned. Oh, somebody is encouraging himself in the Lord. Someone is encouraging herself in the Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. <laughs> Amen and amen. Can I show you how to walk through the fire unscathed? In the book, again, in the same scripture, we're reading from verse 7 to 8. And the Bible says, And David said to Abiathar the priest and Ahimelech's son, I pray thee, bring me hither the effort. And Abiathar brought hither the effort to David. Verse 8 emphasis, And David inquired at the Lord, some versions will say, and David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue after this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for thou shalt surely overtake them without fail and recover all. I know that we are so quick to pray these prayers of, Oh, there will be recovery, we will recover all. And we're still going to pray it, to be honest. But the truth about it is that there's something that is very critical, maybe even more important than this second part that we usually always miss. And the most critical part of this verse is that David inquired of the Lord. You see, when you see fire, fire is like there's the, the, the only way out of fire is to be divinely directed. You know why? Imagine a house or an office that is burning in fire. There's chaos everywhere. You do not know your left from your right. You do not know, you do not know where it's going to blow because of combustion. You do not know where, where there's a pathway. You will need a direction beyond your own knowledge. To The way to come out of fire is to be divinely directed. The Bible says, And David inquired of the Lord. And the Lord, and the best part was this. He says, and the Lord answered him. Many of us in fire were panicking, were crying, were doing every other thing except for asking God and, and hearing from God. I want somebody to pray this blessed day. I say, God, I may be in this fire right now. I may have done every other thing but do what I'm about to do now. Now I come to you. Lord, direct me. Direct my path. This fire is peculiar to me, but I ask for divine direction. I ask for divine direction. What is the way out of it? Didn't the word of God say that there's no temptation that has overtaken you that is beyond what you can bear? But with every temptation, there will always be a way of escape. The way of escape takes divine direction, accuracy, precision of guidance. Lord, direct me. Can somebody take turn that to prayer? Maybe we'll spend time with this prayer because it is important. If this is what you can get out of this, then you'll come out of that fire on scale that. Lord, direct me. Lord, direct my path. Uh, Lord, there seems to be confusion here. There seems to be all manner of panic and fear here. But you are the one that can guide me out of the fire. First of all, it is a 
testimony that the fire has not burnt me. But I do not want to just remain testifying on this level. There's also a greater dimension where you take me through the fire and you bring me out to a resting place. Lord, direct me. Guide me. I inquire of you, Lord, today. I'm done with my own strength, my own wisdom, my own intelligence. No, sir. Lekateria da baskatoria da baskate pakatea. Ishada da da barado doska da bakataya. Rede de 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 skatoria da gata. Ela sotorian da gata. Lekotorian da gata. Ishaturian da gata. Bombre de gadia. Rede de 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 de. Ishaturian da gata. Rede de de de. Ishaturian da gata. Brando regedi. Askata pande gedia, re de 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 jatoria da da bande gedia, re de 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 jatoria da gada brondo jatoria da gada, re de 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 jatoria da gada borondo re gede jatoria da gada, re de 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 jatoria da da skatoria da gadoa, ra da 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 jatoria da gada brondo re gedia. Direct me, O God. I inquire of you, O Lord. What do I do? Where do I go? What is the solution? Le cascateria da barrando shateria da gata. We are not downplaying the fire. The fire is real, but it will take a divine instruction, guidance to come out. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. <laughs> We are still going to pray before we get, begin to get into the prayers of recovery, recompensation. You see, the Bible says something very critical in Proverbs 14, 12, that there's a way that seems right, but the end leads to destruction. Now, you may not understand the reason why somebody may go in the wrong way, except when somebody is surrounded by fire. Remember, I gave you an analogy. If you, a person was in an office, God forbid, that was burning in fire, you know, because of the panic, it is possible that maybe you see a pathway that looks like has no fire and it looks right. It looks like the solution. It looks like the way to escape out of this trouble. And then you run into that pathway, not knowing that at the other side of the door, is, it, is, it is destructive fire. So you see, the times of the way that Simeon writes, it's not just because people are careless. So it's not just because people just want to be, to be disobedient. Sometimes pressure can make people go to the way that seems right. When there's pressure, when you cannot stay in one spot, where you need to move or you're in trouble, many times Christians can get into error. Not because they are bad or careless. No, but because of pressure. But you're going to pray for yourself. Because there's no point in leaving one place of fire to a more dangerous place of fire. No. You must receive the grace to be still and know that God is Lord and to allow him to direct your path. You're going to pray and say, oh God. God, Lord, as I navigate myself out of this fire, may I not go in the way that leads to destruction because it looks like a temporal relief. It looks like a temporal rest bite. It looks like a temporal solution. Deliver me, oh God, from the way that seems right but leads to catastrophe. Direct me again. Deliver me from error. There's a way that can seem right because of pressure of life. There's a way that can seem right because of challenges of life. May I not go in that way, oh God. Da 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 da
Rada, Elaboro Dosca de Pande Gedia, Rede de 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 Askateria da Katai, Rede de 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 Amen and amen. We are still going to pray about recover, but we have not gotten quite there yet. Can we continue from verse 9 to 11? Watch this. The Bible says, So David went, he and 600 men that were with him, and they came to the brook Besor, where those that were left behind stayed. Verse 10. But David pursued, and he and 400 men for 200 abode behind, which were so faint that they could not go over Brook Besso. Verse 11, critical part here. And they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David and gave him bread and he did eat and they made him drink water. Mm. Verse 12, we'll still come back to verse 11, but we'll just read for context. And they gave him a piece of cake of figs and two clusters of raisins. And when he had eaten, his spirit came again to him, for he had eaten no bread, nor drunk any water three days and three nights. And David said unto him, verse 13, to whom be thou longest thou, where art thou? And he said, I am a young man of Egypt, servant of the Amalekites, and my master left me, because three days ago I fell sick. We made an invasion, okay, verse 15, because of time. And David said to him, can you bring me down to this company? And he said, swear unto me by God that I will neither kill me nor deliver me into the hands of my master. And I will bring thee down to this company. And when he had brought him down, behold, they were spread abroad upon all the earth, eating and drinking and dancing. Now, we're going to get to a very critical part. Verse, going back to verse 11. Because this is one of the biggest mistakes that we make as children of God. And when they found an Egyptian in the field, they brought him to David. Normally, you find an Egyptian in the field as an Israelite, you kill him, you slaughter him, you don't ask questions. How many times has our answers to prayers come? And yet we are the same ones that crucify who God has sent to answer us. Why? Because they do not look like it. They do not appear in glory. But meanwhile, you said, God, lead me out of fire. Deliver me from this issue, this rent matter, this problem. And God sent someone in the form of an Egyptian. And because we did not have the discernment, we could not discern that in that Egyptian, in that person, was either wisdom, was a divine connection, was a, was a divine favor. There was something that that person would have done. David prayed and said, God, should I recover? And God said, yes. But it took wisdom in partnership with the prophetic word for it to have been fulfilled. If all he did was to pray and he did not have the discernment to know that this Egyptian would have brought a solution, they would have gone around the circle. In the same way, many of us, we fast and we pray and we pray well. But when God sends the answer through men, through situations, we do not have the seen eye that can discern the opportunity. And instead, we shut it down. We look down on it and we, by ourselves, throw away what God has done. I want somebody to pray and say, God, grant me the discernment to know when you have sent me the answer to my prayer. Even if it comes in through an unlikely source. I'm believing you for a million dollars to start a business. And you send somebody that's 
is a bricklayer. Who would have thought that the bricklayer would connect me to my investor? But I looked down on the bricklayer and I, I even insulted him. I dismissed him and I did not know. I dismissed an answer to prayer. Ah! Lord, grant me the wisdom and discernment. I will no longer be a stumbling block. I will no longer frustrate your answers. As you send me men, as you send me people that look at in the form of an Egyptian, I will discern that this is my help, that this is my solution. Please, somebody pray. Pray, pray, pray. Because God is a faithful God. It's not that God is wicked or is not powerful. We ourselves, we have aborted many processes of help because we did not discern well. And they found an Egyptian, but they did not kill him. They gave him bread and they gave him water. And then he gave them what they needed to recover all. You pray to recover all. You pray for restoration. But when restoration comes as a man, as an opportunity, the same us, we look down on it because it does not appear in the way we expected. No, not anymore. Catiria da Baranda Gata Era da da dan de Cataya Rede de de Isaturian da Gata Rede de de Isaturia da Boscatiria da Cata. You are praying for discernment, open eyes, cascoteria, wisdom, revelation, recoscate para da bada da da capaya, Rede de 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 Rede de de Isaturian do Regedia Rede de de Isaturia da 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 Rede de de Isaturia. Catoria da da scateria da gada, rado do 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 scateria da baranda gada, escateria da barando scada balacataya, rede de 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 de. Help me to descend my Egyptian, my solution, my help. Rado do scada balada cateya, rede de 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 People have gotten jobs through connections that look did not look like it in the beginning. How many have gotten life-changing contracts through divine strategic relationships that did not look like it in the beginning? Le cateria da bascateria da barra da gadaya. Rede de 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 brodo dos capan de gada barra da bacateria. Rede de 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 shateria da gata. Lord, help me to discern because my help may not look like help from the beginning. But is in honor and seed that I can activate the grace on their inside that brings out my solution because they gave him bread and they gave him water. Le cateria da cateria da scataya. May I not destroy my solutions to my new season? May I not destroy my bridge to my new level? Recopan de gadabaranda gadaya. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. And finally, verse 17 to 18. And David smote them from the twilight even unto the evening of the next day. And they escaped not a man of them, save 400 young men which rode upon the camels and fled. Verse 18, the prophetic word. <laughs> the prophetic word that God spoke earlier. And David recovered all that the Amalekites had carried away and David rescued his two wives. Verse 19, and there was nothing lacking to them, neither small nor great, neither sons nor daughters, neither spoil, nor anything that had taken to them, David recovered all. So when you walk through the fire, you will not be burnt because you can recover all. I want us to pray and say, Lord, as whatever I have lost in this fire that has come upon me, whether this fire was for a season, for months or years, Lord, I recover all in the name of the Lord Jesus. I recover all. Can you turn that to prayer finally and say, Heavenly Father, I recover all. I recover all by divine direction. By discernment, I recover all by the prophetic word. Is Katurian the Barando Shatade Rede de 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 
Askoturian da gada bum redesca sirian da gada rede de 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 isatharia do rege de isatharia da gada rede de de isatharia do rege de rede de 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 isatharia do rege de bosca sirian da gada rede de de isatharia do rege de isatharia da gada rede de 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 isatharia da rege de isatharia da baska da balakataya with decree recovery recovery of all in the name of the lord jesus in the name of the lord jesus for in jesus mighty name. amen and amen going back to our anchor scripture now you see what the lord is saying to somebody this morning isaiah 43 verse 2 and he says again when you pass through the waters i will be with you and through the rivers they shall not overflow you when you walk through the fire you shall not be burnt neither shall the flame kindle upon thee for i am the lord your god the holy one of israel your savior i gave egypt for your ransom ethiopia and sheba for thee hallelujah glory be to god in the highest amen and amen this is only for people by the way who are in the faith these are the ones that the fires will not destroy because there are people that fire destroys you and there are people that water suffocates. If you are not saved and you do not know Jesus, please pray after me so you can be exempted from every eternal condemnation and even earthly condemnation. And just repeat after me and say, Heavenly Father, I come to you just as I am. I ask that you forgive me for all my sins. I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of God. I believe that he died for me. I believe that he resurrected. I receive the life of Christ, even as I receive forgiveness of sins. Show me mercy, O God, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen and amen. If that was you, we'll announce some numbers later on so that you can connect with us. We have a special gift for you. But for the rest of us, very quickly, let's bring out our communion elements now. Let's bring out our communion and partake of the communion. We're looking at Luke chapter 22, verse 19 to 20. Luke 22, verse 19 to 20. And he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, the cup, after they had eaten, saying, The cup that is poured out for you is the new covenant in my blood, or the new testament in my blood. We are, we are believing God that as we partake of the Lord's body and blood in the new covenant, we recover all. Everything that was stolen by fire, whether financial, spiritual, marital, emotional, body, physical, everything is recovered now in the name of Jesus. Somebody is recovering their joy. Someone is recovering their peace. Someone is recovering their consecration. Someone is recovering their prayer life. Someone is recovering their happiness, their joy in marriage. Someone is recovering their, their joy in family. Someone is recovering their joy in their business in the name of the Lord Jesus. Can you partake? of the Lord's body and blood with the anticipation that you have recovered all. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen and amen. Glory be to God in the highest. Amen. Now, if you gave your life to Jesus or you rededicated your life, um, the numbers are going to be projected on the screen right about now. I want you to kindly reach out to us. Apostle God has a special gift for you, but you'll find out once you reach out. So you can call at plus 234-704-922-234, or you can send an SMS or a WhatsApp message at plus 234-805-223-4444. If you also have a testimony, kindly send to apostlegoodhart at gmail.com. We would love to hear your testimony, for it is the spirit of prophecy, and the Lord bless you as you share your testimony in Jesus' name. If you want to give your love gift, your love seed, your love offering, just want to say, God, I'm grateful. Thank you for what you're doing on this altar. Thank you because it's always a blessing to me. So for partnership and love gifts, if you're in Nigeria, you can send to Nigeria Honor Revival Ministry at GTB, which is 0215043376, or send it at 10145903358. If you're in the United States of America, you can use the Zelle at homefinance at gmail.com. 
if you're in Canada, is inter is um, the interact platform at rogicanada at gmail.com. God bless you as you give. It is more blessed to give than to receive. Now we're about to read our daily devotional. The title is called It's Working for Your Good. Hallelujah. It's working for your good. Amen and amen. Trust Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. Bible reading is found in 2 Kings 8 to 11 and Psalm 103. If you've not joined our Bible community, can you do so on your version and be blessed? Oswald Jeffrey Smith was Canada's most famous pastor in the 20th century. Yet his success was a result of persistence and refusal to give up in the face of great odds. Oswald was born a sickly child. His parents and doctors questioned whether he would reach adulthood. He was absent from school on and off and eventually missed two entire years at school. At 16 years old, his life changed when he got born again at the evangelistic campaign conducted by the then famed Dr. R. A. Torrey in Massey, in Massey Hall, Toronto. Soon after, after Oswald felt greatly drawn to the preaching of the gospel, after his graduation from Bible college, he applied to the Presbyterian Missionary Board with the hope to be sent as a missionary to some foreign country. But his request was turned down by the board because he did not meet their qualifications. Several other missionary boards turned him down, saying he was too physically frail for the mission field. Though Oswald's dream seemed shattered and he was full of disappointment, he did not give up. As he turned to God in prayer, he received the divine idea to build a church which could send out missionaries. In 1928, he founded the People's Church in Toronto, which became Canada's largest church and was the single largest missionary church in the world for decades. Supporting over 400 foreign missionaries, also J. Smith was also an author, songwriter, and worldwide evangelist who impacted many great preachers, including Billy Graham, to whom he was a mentor, we must never let people's opinion or actions determine the outcome of our lives. Someone said life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you take it or react to it. True. Therefore, learn to put disappointing experiences behind you and forge ahead to become all what God has ordained for you. What sometimes seems like a disappointment could actually be positioning you for greater blessings. God superintends our lives so that even setbacks work out for the good of those who trust in him. No matter how things may initially look, God's grace is able to overturn adversities into your advantages. When you are a child of God, you can be sure that disappointment will only end up to become divine appointment for you. Renewing our minds through God's word enables us to trust in him during tough times and see our situations through the eyes of faith. Instead of complaining, always believe God's promise that all things work together for good to them who love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. The truth is, though we may not always be able to trace the hand of God, we can always trust his heart. Don't ever make the critical mistake of thinking that God let you down or did he answer your prayer. Rather, in all things, trust that God's thoughts towards you are thoughts of peace, never of evil, to give you an expected end. God is always good to those that trust in him and directs their path, Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. As we continue to bless him at all times, certainly every breakdown shall be converted to our breakthroughs and breaking forth to greater realms in the name of Jesus. We're going to pray and say, Lord, please help me to remain ever grateful and thankful in every situation because I know that you are always faithful and you will surely cause all things to work together for my good in Jesus' name. Help me, O Lord, to remain ever grateful. May I not be discouraged. May I not draw back to unbelief. May I not murmur. May I not complain. But may I remain ever grateful, knowing that all things are working together for my good in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you for the grace, for gratitude. We be thankful. Because truly you are a good God, you have done all things well. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. Amen and amen. Winning quote from what by 222. When God is on your side, anything is possible. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Just to let us know that we are meeting again 
12 p.m. GMT plus one. That is the launch hour with the Lord Jesus Christ. Today is Friday, so this will make for the last GBPA for this week before we commence again next week, Monday. So you may want to, or rather you should join the 12 p.m. GMT plus one GBPA so that you finish well. Let us finish strong. Let us finish well. This is the noon watch. And God bless you as you do so. Remember to join our YouTube channel um, at GPPA TV so that you can act the messages are archived, the prayer sessions are archived, so you can always go back and pray and pray through and pray through and pray through and be continually refreshed. And the Lord bless you as you do so. Thank you so much on behalf of Apostle God and Apostle Mbimbo. Welcome again to the Global Prophetic Prayer Altar. We hope you had a wonderful experience. We hope to see you again shortly. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. The psalm is declared when the Lord, not man, not good heart, when the Lord not turn around the captivity of his people, they will be like them that doth dream. Can I prophesy to you? By the time you are done with these five days, you will look at yourself, look at your money, look at your honey, look at your business, look at your health, your family life, your career, your ministry. You will tell yourself, I look like I'm dreaming, but that dream is a reality. Everything is about to change. Why? It's a Kairos moment, a window in time, in destiny. God is set to do something phenomenal in your life. Have you ever struggled with mental health, depression, fear, marital pitfalls, physical health challenges, career challenges, indecision, other issues of life, or would you just like to strengthen your spirituality? Then join men and women across the globe, breaking the limits and soaring high on the global prophetic prayer altar with Apostle Goodheart Obi Ikweme. Even in these challenging times, every weekday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one, and 12 noon to 1 p.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one. Available on internet radio at www.radio.rogic.org and on YouTube at GPPA TV, on Periscope at Goodheart O Ikweme. On Instagram at Apostle Goodheart and on Facebook at Apostle Goodheart. The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar. The surest way to get timely resources to stabilize your life in every area. Your unmerited mercy or favor made available to us. We give you praise. We